Hi, my name is Jacqueline Davis. Welcome to Safe Place Art. Today we'll be making a denim fringe jacket. And if you would like to make this jacket and see how I did the denim fringe and made it all of my own, then keep watching. So I got this jacket from Boohoo. This is what it looks like without all of the customization that I did. I took all of the ribbon out and made it plain so that I could decorate it. So first things first, making the denim fringe. At the very top, I left about a two inch gap so that it would be easy to attach the fringe to the jacket. I made my fringe about an inch wide and that was just because I wanted it to be kind of small and you can make yours three inches wide. It'll definitely go a lot faster with cutting and with marking. Um, and you don't even have to mark if you don't want it super precise. I just wanted mine to all look the same. So I marked and I did that all the way down the fabric. Denim fringe is very straightforward. You do not cut through the whole entire piece of fabric. That's why the top line is there, so you can cut all the way to the top line and then everything will look very cohesive. I will add that I was cutting through two layers of fabric um, because I wanted denim fringe for different projects and if you want to measure out what you will need, and don't do more than that. This is very tedious, so I don't blame you. No judgment here. I just wanted um, a ton of it, so. Cut down each line to the very end of the fabric and you would have made your denim fringe. So after all the fringes cut, you're going to want to cut a strip at the very top to separate the two layers um, if you decided to cut through two layers. So now you should have two separate pieces of fringe so we're going to take this all to the washer and dryer and i would wash it for about 15 minutes i'm um, on an express wash so you can get all this chalk stuff off and then put it in the dryer for 15 minutes so let's go So the next thing I'm gonna do is mark where I want the fringe to go. So I thought about doing something really cool with the very top. Kind of making it really Western at the top.
and I thought that that would look really cute. But I also want like different rows of fringe, so I'm gonna mark some ideas on where I would want the other fringe to go. I think I want one row right underneath that row. So all I'm gonna do, my sewing machine is already pre-threaded. So I'm gonna unbutton this. And I'm gonna sew a straight stitch right across here. And I think it's good because then I'll layer it up. So you don't wanna start at the top and then go down. I think it'll be easier if you start from the bottom up. So this is what the first row is gonna look like. I'm just gonna snip So for the second layer, all I'm going to do is mark and pin. Um, decide where I want it. I'm going to do that western thing at the very top. A little bit on the arms, both arms, and a dip in the center. And I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch along the whole entire thing. <laughs> 